Okay, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, I'm not going to have music this time because this is going to be kind of short. I wanted to tell all of you that I said I was going to spend today, I have a meeting in a couple of minutes, which is every Saturday at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, but I said I was going to spend the time working on that motion. Well, let me tell you what I didn't come up with, and I am so glad that I waited a whole week. Told you I need to get my rest in order for me to think effectively, okay? And, oh, Lord, I was speaking with one of my prior consultants, consultations, and the young lady had a question, and it, it was something that just came up, and she got, she just said, I can I call you? And I said, go right ahead. And she explained what her question was. And you know what I, man, I said, you're going to follow a small claims case, and you're going to not sue the judge. You're going to sue the judge's bond. Hoo-wee! Let me tell you, I, that man, let me tell you, the bond is the insurance company. You're going to sue the bond company for the judge. You're going to file a claim against the judge's bond in small claims court. Every last one of you, don't play with these mother <clears throat> these people no more. File a small claims lawsuit against the judge's bonding company. Either it's risk management for the county or it's a specific company. So you call it Judge Such and Such Bond Doe Number Uno Etc. Unlimited. E T A L Unlimited. Ladies and gentlemen, go after the insurance company, the judge, to prove to you. I'm going to prove to all of y'all that a judge is not absolutely immune. Police officers are not absolutely immune. They all have insurance, you you intelligent creatures. They all have insurance. If they were immune, they wouldn't need insurance. Do you understand what I'm saying? If they were completely immune, why are they paying for insurance? Anybody? Anybody? Nobody got an answer to that question? That's because they're crackheads and they want y'all to believe that they can do whatever they want. So now it's our turn to tell them, no, y'all ain't doing that. I don't know who y'all think I am. Okay? So go after their bond. Now, that's what I'm, I'm working on now, even with the suit that I'm getting ready to put together for my people. Okay? My people meaning our clients in this instance. Okay? But I'm giving you the information. Take it and run for us, run. Okay, hold on now. Give me a second. We're gonna go to YouTube. Yeah, we can go to this YouTube. This one we did the arbitration. Now wa watch what I do. Okay, I have to be very careful. Gonna get you there if you're very careful. I don't know why I'm doing it that way. That's I'm trying to move too fast, y'all. Get over there. C I M A S. Uh, uh, no, I don't want to do that. No, watch the small claims. C O U R T. Hold on. And how to win in small claims court. That's what you're looking for. Whew. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, how to win in small claims court. Five secrets to win in small claims court. Win in small claims court. Okay, uh, seven worst mistakes you can make in small claims court. Thank you, lady. Okay, this is where y'all gonna go. Bring the proof. I told you that's how I won. Documenting everything. How to win a small claims court case without an attorney. I'm trying to tell y'all Wait, hold on. Look, wait, wait, wait. That's one minute and three seconds. Let's go there for a second. Let's go there for a second, y'all. We ain't gonna stay here long because this ain't gonna be no long video. I'm telling y'all, go after that mother and bomb. What does it take to win your legal case without an attorney? Yeah, tonight, the Let Joe Doe team joining the small claims court to find out. Now, hold on. Before you talk, Joe, I want to let y'all know, and before Joe lets you know, I want to let y'all know that I've been doing this since 17 and a half years old going into small claims court by myself. I ain't got nobody with me. I ain't got no team. 
and I was doing the Wu Tang thing, telling them I ain't nothing to quit. And they they understood eventually. Hold on now. So you want your rental deposit back, or you've got questions about your car repair. Joe Ducey, Courtney Holmes here, talking about small claims court and how it might be a place for you. Yeah, we actually talked to a judge today. They gave us some really good advice. A judge? So if you're owed less than $3,500, you might be able to represent yourself. Take the emotional element out of the case. Um, if people get too emotional, we go off. Hold on. It ain't personal. So leave the person at home. It ain't personal. That's what he's saying. Hold on now. Sidetracks, and then we lose what the focus should be on. Most of the time, the dispute is, I we agree to this, and the other party says, no, we agree to this. Without anything written down, we're start trying to figure out which case is- Bring your proof. Bring your proof. Bring your proof. They say, bring your proof. Bring your proof. Hold on now. Or what side is the more probable case? They have everything organized. They have a checklist. Here's the points I want to make. Here's the- Ladies and gentlemen, basically he's saying bring an outline, have your stuff in a folder. Same thing, the instructions I give all of my consultation people when I talk to them, put everything in a folder, have everything nice and neatly organized. And he calls on something, say, hold on, here it is. And he calls on something else, hold on, here it is. And he calls on something else, hold on, here it is. That hey, That's how I, man, that when Judge Stevens, y'all remember I tell y'all about Judge Stevens went into his courtroom and had all my paperwork together. And he says, I don't know of an attorney that could have done a better job than you did. Well, I'm trying to teach y'all how to do better than me. Okay? Judge Stephen was a veteran. He is now retired. I don't even know if he has retired completely from life, but he was retiring at the time. That was 2002, y'all. Okay? Hold on now. Joe! I want to present. Costs start around $60 to file, and there could be additional filing fees, but it's a lot less than hiring an attorney. Yeah, go ahead and go to the Let Joe Know Facebook page, where we have a lot more for you. Okay, hey, y'all, y'all can go to Let Joe Know, but I'm not going to send y'all over to Joe, because Joe, Joe ain't my friend, okay? I'm just trying to tell y'all where y'all can go to find out about small claims court, okay? 17th judicial Hello. circuit shut up i am judge shut Patrick up Dickens, judge a county court judge in the 17th judicial circuit in broward county I, i'm trying to shut her up shut up judge nobody wants to talk to you now this is not what i'm at. i'm not asking y'all to go listen to them i'm telling y'all look going to small claims court judge 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 you can listen to these it's okay you want to hear how the judge talks you see how she's trying to seem like she's polite trying it seems like she's concerned okay that's what you're going to find in small claims court you're going to find the judges a little bit more relaxed than the idiots that you go to it's the same judge you would normally see in traffic court those are the same judges this is your justice of the peace judge that's what small claims is justice of the peace it's small claims is arbitration that's why you got to agree not to appeal you got to agree to accept the judges blah 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 unless she violates your rights and that's the only time you can appeal that's why you got to know what your rights are Got to know what your rights are. Got to know what the rules are. Study the rules in advance. Judge violates those rules. That's how you appeal. And that's how you get the judge overturned, whatever they decide. Okay, they got to follow the law. They don't have to. They, no, policies and procedures is not the same thing in small claims court. Go do your research, homie. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Go into small claims court. Do your research on how to win in small claims court. Tons of videos. You don't have to watch my videos. Watch their videos. Tons of videos showing you how to win in small claims court. Ladies and gentlemen, tons of videos showing you how to win in small claims court. No lawyer, no problem. Should you go to small claims court? Of course you can. Don't worry about the dollar amount because you're not suing for a dollar amount. You're not suing for the dollar amount. You're going to sue for the maximum. You're always going to go for the maximum. Never go for less than the maximum. You're going to go for the maximum. But you're going to bring up constitutionally secured issues with the judge. Oh, you're just going after his bond. I was trying to file a claim. And you're going to make a small request, put it in a letter, send it to the court. I want to file a claim against the judge's bond. Who's the insurance company? What's the bond number? What's the bond information? What's the insurance company's address? What's the policy number? Those are the questions you're going to ask. Go back and listen. I just said it. You're going to ask those questions, put it in a letter, send it to the court. Say, And I need to give you the customary 14 calendar days to respond. Same as they would give you if you needed to go to court. 14 calendar days. Then after those 14 calendar days are up, you're going to default them. Say, hey, I gave you 14 days to provide me information that you're required to provide me by law. Are you refusing? I'm going to give you seven calendar days to respond. 
they're going to respond with some bull crap. No, by the way, you want to also say whenever you give somebody time to respond, you always want to say, and if your response is not a direct and specific response to my question, providing the information being requested, then it will be considered as a non-response. That's all you have to say. You don't have to say, and blah, blah, blah. No, you ain't got to do all that, blah, 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 because blah, blah, blah ain't never saved anybody's life. So stay away from the blah, blahs, okay? Blah, blahs will get you in blah, blahs trouble. And blah, blahs don't want blah, blahs to know what blah, blahs is doing. So don't mess with blah, blah, okay? Man. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I got to go talk to blah, blah while you guys go and contemplate what was just told to you. Have a good day. Blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah.